Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the Eurocontrol case study and how are we industrializing next generation digital platforms with platform engineering. My name is uh, David Morales, I work as a technical product manager and at Paradigma and the first thing I would like to talk about is Eurocontrol and the digital transformation journey for the European Aviation Network. Eurocontrol is a European agency uh, their mission is to create a single European sky for air traffic management. And they uh, were created at 1960. At this moment, there are more than 40 member states and they are managing more or less more than 11 million flights per year. And actually, I have a few pictures uh, uh, to show you what a busy day looks like in the aviation sector. Uh, first of all, back in 1919, uh, BC Traffic Day was uh, uh, managing a bit more than 27,000 flights in, in that uh, BC Day. If we jump to 2019, uh, right before the pandemic, uh, they were managing in a BC Day a bit more than 37,000 flights. And the forecast uh, for 2030 is to uh, manage close to 60,000 flights in a busy traffic day. So the question is, will the aviation sector be able to cope with uh, that increase in the number of flights per day by 2030? And at the same time, maintain the same levels of safety, of uh, security, ensuring the system capacity as well and at the same time uh, uh, being more sustainable. Uh, the answer that Eurocontrol uh, decided a while ago is to create this INM program to support these challenges in the European aviation. And the uh, Eurocontrol is trying to uh, uh, move forward in this digital transformation journey and also tackle the uh, system of obsolescence, the technical debt that was created over time. Uh, the INM program, by the way, is not only about software, it, it also uh, involves the, uh, a new operational center, for example, and it has a clear um, goal uh, related to user experience to improve the process automation and also to improve the, the performance. Next, I would like to talk about Indra and its role modernizing the digital products for the air traffic sector. Indra is a big player in the air traffic uh, sector. It's uh, uh, implementing solutions in more than uh, 180 countries with lots of years of experience and more or less 85% of the passengers traveling worldwide by plane are making use of uh, different Indra technologies at some point during the flight. Indra is uh, leading the INM program as a strategic partner or partner of Eurocontrol, ensuring that this vision of the aviation sector future is implemented in, the, in all, both the digital products and also a digital platform capable of running this uh, new generation of digital products. But just to give you an idea about a uh, real ATM architecture, this is just an example of uh, a you know, simplified example of a digital product. And this is the uh, real challenge for this modernization program. First of all, we need to uh, deal with monoliths, with existing monolith, appli monolith applications mm -hmm. that must be uh, maintained and evolved. And some of them were built with uh, really obscure or old programming languages. Second, uh, second challenge for this new gener generation of digital products is how to deal with uh, non-functional requirements such as reliability, security, performance, given that this sector, the aviation sector, is um, really um, strict about these regulations. And third, the, 
uh, the third challenge is how to uh, create a, a common platform that can be maintained in a, a critical, mission critical environment for the next 10 years. Now I would like to introduce Paradigma and how are we using platform engineering to build golden paths and ensure the success of this modernization effort. First of all, uh, we are building this platform for Euro control based on Kubernetes. Paradigma is, uh, as the platform team, uh, we are playing a pivotal role in ensuring the success of the initiative. And of course, um, Kubernetes is uh, providing uh, um, foundation uh, capabilities like uh, storage or networking, multi-cluster or service mesh. And we are following uh, the principles of platform engineering to build a platform that uh, is uh, meeting the technical requirements, of course, uh, but also aligning with the best practices and industry standards. And of course, we want to be aligned with the industry. We need to pay attention to the CNCF, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, in two different ways. First of all, to ensure that uh, we are selecting technologies that have a wide industry adoption. The CNCF uh, is helping us to do so uh, with these ma different uh, maturity levels and therefore allowing us to um, to choose the right uh, uh, tool and understand the risks of, of selecting a, a tool with not enough uh, industry adoption or not enough maturity. The second uh, way that the CNCF is helping us as the platform team is uh, uh, embracing uh, new technologies, the innovation. The CNCF is uh, helping us to discover new technologies and of course ensuring that this ecosystem stays relevant for, for the industry. The second challenge that we have as a platform team is, uh, as you all know, the cognitive load. The cognitive load is uh, somehow uh, reduced by the CNCF uh, guidance, but it, it is um, a problem for both the developer teams, but also for the platform teams, since you need to uh, navigate the ecosystem and to uh, select the different technologies and integrate the different technologies. And in order to tackle the uh, cognitive load for the platform team, we are uh, taking advantage of Red Hat uh, offering, uh, specifically OpenShift. Uh, the way that uh, Red Hat is uh, incorporated from the open source ecosystem and the Cloud Native Computing Foundation landscape is helping us to reduce uh, our burden to uh, create this platform, our, our effort to create this platform, uh, also to create a Cloud Native experience and reducing the hassle of uh, manual integration. So we are uh, somehow dealing with a, a limited set of problems thanks to the uh, Red Hat uh, collaboration. But uh, beyond this uh, baseline that we have with uh, Red Hat OpenShift, we have a lot of challenges that uh, need to, to be solved. Uh, for example, Red Hat is not providing yet a solution for secret manage management, for example. Probably it will, it will do so in the future with uh, the acquisition of HashiCorp. But at this moment, we need to deal with this capability by ourselves. And we need to deploy that technology and to integrate that technology to provide a good developer experience. So in addition to the baseline that we already have uh, with OpenShift, we need to still think about the rest of the services on top of the on, on Kubernetes and also to deal with all the uh, um, high-level services that application uh, need. For example, databases, streaming services, authentication. So we have a whole stack to deal with from the infrastructure 
uh, dealing with uh, on-premises uh, 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 deployments and also cloud deployments. We need to deal with automation. We need to deal with the um, software lifecycle. We need to, need to to deal with security and compliance, and also to provide a good uh, set of uh, capabilities related to the application needs. As I mentioned before, databases or streaming services. And as a platform team, we also need to take uh, care about the cognitive load for uh, the development teams. Therefore, uh, we are building uh, golden paths to uh, uh, reduce the complexity of deployments in such a complex uh, ecosystem or uh, platform. Eurocontrol is fully committed with this approach, and therefore uh, we are we have a team building these abstractions uh, to help reduce the the, 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 the the cognitive load and ensure that these operational requirements, uh, hard operational requirements, are always met. So the platform engineers in our team are capturing feedback and requirements from both development teams, operation teams, security teams, and creating, building this abstraction uh, so that you can deploy your digital product in a secure way. It's a simplified deployment contract that uh, is uh, easing this uh, development process and deployment process. So this is the way that uh, we as a platform team are paving the modernization journey, improving this developer development experience and building these abstractions to ensure that the path to uh, onboard, to modernize and to onboard the platform is, is clear and is secure. We are taking advantage of, advantage of these platform engineering principles to ensure future readiness and adaptability. This is all I have. Thank you so much for watching and thanks as well to the platform for having us. Bye.